keeping your website on top of its game as far as making sure that it has the latest features and the fastest libraries can be kind of a handle, but using our handy dandy Hugo and Netliffy setup, uh, this can be one of the easiest things to do. Let's get let's get into this and I'll show you guys how to how to set that up and update to the latest version of Hugo. All right, so you can see here I have on the left-hand side Hugo's website, and on the right-hand side I have my Netliffy uh, domain kind of interface where I can kind of manage the website. I'm sure you guys, if you guys have been watching all of the previous videos, you should have uh, be familiar with this. But over here on the left, I'm going to go to Hugo's website, and I'm going to click on News here. This News tab is typically where they're posting all of their updates and fixes and bug fixes and releases onto here. You can see that the most recent one as of today was August 17th, 2018. This is Hugo 0 0.47. And if you want to, you can actually click read more and it'll show you the actual release notes and bug fixes that they did for this particular release. And that way you can see if there's gonna be any changes to the way that you set up your website. I will go out there to make a disclaimer that Typically, when it comes to developing, this uh, this number right here is what you need to pay attention to. But if you're switching from, uh, on this left-hand side, the left hand of the decimal, basically the first number, if that ever increments, you know, from 0 to 1 or from 1 to 2, you're going to want to actually test that out beforehand before you actually just set up your live server. I've never had a problem, not saying it is a problem with updating it if it's a minor update, like a 0.47 to 0.48. I've never had breaking changes to a website or to an application because of that, but definitely before you before you move up from a, a major release, you want to check out what those changes are, possibly even setting up a local build and running that to see if it still works the way that you're expecting. So now that you now that you can kind of see their latest release, what we're going to do here is we're going to go to our website domain control panel over here, and we're going to click on our um, we're going to click on our settings here. Once you get that, I'm just going to click on Build and Deploy Settings, and then I'm going to scroll down, and you can see right here, when we originally set up our website, we set up a Hugo version and the environment variables, and it's as simple as going into here and setting this equal to the latest version. Now, once you do that, that's not going to actually set a build, so if I go to, uh, if I go to my website here, that's actually not going to enable a build. What you need to do is actually go to your Deploys, and I'm going to click Trigger Deploy. And for now, I'm just going to click clear, clear the Build Cache. That way, there's nothing from the older version left in there. And it's going to download the entirety of it um, over again. So I'm going to click Trigger Deploy. And, you know, we've seen that if you guys haven't seen this before, we've seen this tons of times. Uh, it's just setting up a deploy. And as soon as this gets done, it's actually going to show up. Now, I don't expect any changes over here as far as the interface. It should look the same. If there is, we would want to revert back and figure out why. Uh, you can see that it's public, so if I refresh here, you can see that nothing did change at all, which is good. You don't want anything to change right off um, right off the bat just because you don't want your users to, uh, you don't want your website to break, essentially, your application to break. But uh, what you do want is that, you know, the, the settings and features that they implement inside of here, we can look at some of these. Uh, you know, they're, they're closing the file. Um, oh, that's, sorry, that's the, that's, this is the actual notes from the repository on GitHub. But um, you can see here, they, they actually go in here and talk about the things that they added. So I, um, I hope that you guys like this video. I, I'm taking away the kind of the face cam. I really want to focus on the code. I want to focus on the screen. And it actually keeps the, uh, the recordings down quite a lot so I can store a lot more on my external hard drive and I can start putting out more. Uh, if you guys have any requests or anything, please let me know down in the comments. I've been trying to get back to all of you uh, through private messaging and stuff like that. And uh, if you have a tutorial that you guys want me to do, leave that in the comment down below, the comment section down below. I will do my best to read that and create that video for you because I am here to help you guys out and learn myself. If, uh, if that's everything, just go ahead and check me out on uh, my website, blog.christate.com. You can check out my photography and whatnot on my Instagram page, Chris State. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Yeah.